Welcome everyone to Unity of the Blue Ridge. I'm Reverend Gabby and this is Reverend Barbara Ann. And now Reverend Barbara Ann is going to do our blessing of the children. Hi children, so glad that you're with us today. Stay quiet, still, go within your heart and know that we love you, we bless you, we appreciate you, and we behold the divinity in you. Amen. Excellent. And now a song. Thank you for that wonderful song. It's, it's always a pleasure to hear you sing, boys and girls. I know that you love to hear Reverend Gabby sing too. And won't it be wonderful when we can get back together and, and actually watch her sing? So girls and boys, you know that for the month of September, we are studying the idea of order because we know order is a quality of God's love. And last week we, we, we spoke about the first two unity principles and putting those words in order um, and playing a little game with that. So this week we're going to do the third unity principle and we're still gonna remember order. So I want you to look at something and you'll get this on the download. Now it says mixed up unity principle number three. Can you put the words in order? Now I'm gonna read these to you and I wanna see, just think about what you're feeling and, and, and you know, maybe in your body, in your mind, like what's going on if I read, this is the third principle, but it's not in order. Be all, choose I, my what I experience is by think and create, choose to believe to I. Oh, did that make sense? How did that make you feel? It doesn't feel good when things are out of order. And you know what, boys and girls? This third unity principle is very important about order because it's going to remind us how we can make the best choices for ourselves every day. So now I'm going to read to you what it says, what it really says. It says, I create my experiences by what I choose to think and what I feel and believe. 
Now that's the perfect order for you boys and girls. Whenever something comes up and you have to make a decision, the first thing you do is think, feel, and then you're gonna have a belief. And the belief means that your thought and your feeling come together because what you're going to do, you know it's the right thing to do and then you act. Now, we don't always do that. Sometimes, I'm gonna give you a, a word, I'm gonna give you two words this day. Now, boys and girls, these are words I bet your parents and grandparents and everyone at church knows, the adults know, and now you're getting a chance to know. And the words are react and respond. Now, when you react, that's usually when you just blurt something out of your mouth that you know you shouldn't have said, oh boy, I said something, it doesn't feel good, I might have hurt someone's feelings. Or maybe you, you do something so fast that something breaks or something falls apart. Oh my gosh, I didn't think about that first. Or maybe you start blaming something for something that happened or you're whining or complaining. That's called reacting. Reverend Gabby, this, it, we all do it, right, Reverend Gabby? I react, you react, all people react, but it's something that we want to try to not do so much, right? Yeah, I've had definitely had circumstances where I have, I call them getting the blurts, where I blurt something <laughs> out. <laughs> it's like, I shouldn't have reacted like that. Um, so yeah, it's better to just be aware and conscious and not just get the blurts. That's good. I love that. Reverend Gabby, that's, that's a really great way of saying it. And so the, the word that we want to use is called respond. When you respond, you are actually doing unity principle number three. Because unity principle number three reminds you that before you make a decision to do anything, whether to speak or go somewhere or act, you're going to think about what you're doing. Then you're gonna go into your heart and feel God's love. Once you've done that, you create a belief that what I'm doing is correct, which means what I'm saying to my mom and dad is the right thing. And where I'm going is the right place to go. And what I'm doing is the right thing to do. That's the belief you're gonna get when you think and feel and then believe and then do. That's respond. So we're gonna ask you this week to see how you can catch yourself when you react and instead respond, all right? So, and when you get this, remember what we did last, last week, boys and girls, we cut the words up and we put them in an envelope. So I'm inviting you to do that again, cut the words up and put them in an envelope and, and see if you can put the words together and you will all get this paper also to remind you that here's the order, because remember orders for September, think, feel, believe, speak, and act. And I know you're going to have a wonderful week responding. Let's just know and affirm together that all of us are going to respond by thinking, by feeling, by believing, and by doing. And that way we stay so close to God's love. And that always creates the best experiences. Have a good week. Excellent. And now is time for our prayer for protection. The light of God surrounds us. The love of God enfolds us. The power of God protects us. The presence of God watches over us. Wherever we are, we know God is. Have a great week, everyone.